Hey, this is David Gill, Performance Lab Director here at Vert, and really excited to have our first ever edition of Vert Athlete, and we have a very, very special guest. We have Krista Dietzen here with us, um, and I'm going to go ahead and give a little background on Krista so she does not have to brag about herself too much. Uh, she was the captain of our 2016 Olympic team, but before that, uh, you started your career, I guess, at, uh, at Penn State, 2005 through 2008. Um, you were the Big Ten Player of the Year in 2007, had something like 200 blocks that year. Um, also ESPN Academic All-American, so brains and brawn. Woo you uh, went on to win two consecutive NCAA titles before moving on to playing for our national team. You guys had a 2012 Olympic silver, 2014 World Championship gold, and then 2016 Olympic bronze. Um, that's taking your career and trying to compress it quite a bit. Um, but really, really happy to have you on, Krista. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I, I know it's always important, especially for young athletes, to, to have mentors, right? And so I wanted to just get a little more insight if, you know, who had been your mentors over the years? Was it just your coaches? Was it other players, friends? I think starting with my parents, you know, they were very supportive. They, they sacrificed a lot to... Um, you know, to, to get me to practices and, you know, drive me all over and, and fly all over the country. Yes. Uh, for these tournaments. So I think they're, you know, the first people that I, that I think of. So this it's very important to have a support staff behind you, uh, you know, when you're pursuing, uh, something like this and, um, yeah, mentor wise, you know, my coaches, my, my high school coach, my club coach, and for sure. My teammates, I think they're always, cause they're the ones that are holding you accountable. Um, you know, especially at Penn state when you're away from, when you're away from family, um, any type of advisors and coaches there, but definitely teammates, um, you know, I, I owe a lot to because they're the, they're the ones that pushed me to, um, you know, be the player that I became. So you, you had the, you know, three knee surgeries on, on one knee. And so when you, when you think back to all of the training you had done over all the years, um, cause you obviously had to work really hard to get to where you were, but but what is it you, you may have done differently at even starting at the high school level? So for me, growing up, I was praised for outworking people. So I oftentimes kind of, I guess, found myself on overworking, not thinking that that could be a problem down the road. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it's all about trying to find that balance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now where we have this, technology available like Bert, where you can, or you can monitor and just the awareness. It's like, you know, when I, I, yeah, if I had jumpers knee growing up, right. So, well, no doubt you have jumpers knee, Kristen, you just jumped like, you know, 200, 300 times. Like what, you know, what do you, <laughs> where do you, and it's just awareness. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just, it's kind of one of those little, you know, kind of shoves or, or warning lights that go off where it's, well, no, you know, if you're having some, some ankle pain or some knee pain, you know, instead of popping the ibuprofen or the Tylenol, it's, you know, look, look at, you know, what your, what's your body of work. And I think for me, I would growing up and then having something like this available to me as a young athlete is that awareness, because, you know, part of my identity growing up was over outworking everybody else, but you've got to work smart. I ask at, at all these tournaments, because we obviously traveled a lot of tournaments, I'll ask coaches, players, and parents, say, all right, so, you know, on, on average in a practice, how many, how many times do you jump? The answer is almost always a lot, <laughs> you know? And it's like, you ask, a, you ask a pitcher, how many times do you pitch? I pitch this many times. Like, in a yep. game, I will not go over 100. Because I need, you know, it's every little impact adds up. So um, can you tell us a bit more about that journey kind of through injury? Because I know uh, you go to any of these youth tournaments and any of the parents or kids watching here, you see them wrapped up in ice, just injuries left and right. Um, and we try to do all we can to, to kind of get past that. Um, you know, I, sometimes I, not that I forget about it, but it, it was such a big challenge in my career as well. Um, I tore my ACL in college freshman year, right before the NCAA playoff in total, by the end of, you know, by the end of my career, I had three knee surgeries, um, all on my right knee and a shoulder surgery. And, you know, when I look back at, um, I guess dealing with the ins and outs of, of, of rehab and, and, and challenging and coming back is my, you know, questioning, is my body going to be the same? Is it, 
Um, and you know, after that first ACL injury, so that was, that was my first major injury. Uh, and I, through that, I learned that, oh, wow. Okay. My, I mean, my upper body, I mean, I was strong, like it, because I was, okay. Yeah. I was focused on my right knee, but I had, here's this opportunity to improve your hip strength, your shoulder strength. You know, when you're, yes, when one part of your body is injured, it's like, well, I can't jump and hit. So let's, you know, we've got to continue to, you know, get strong. So as you well know, here at Vert, one of, one of our biggest missions, um, is preventing injury and, and in volleyball is a sport we started in. And, and I know, um, that's how you, you and I and, and, and Vert got to meet each other is because, uh, you were one of the first athletes that really took the heart, the idea of saying to your coaches, look, I need, I need to limit the amount I'm jumping here because you wanted to get back, right? You had what, an opportunity. Were you, were you injured before, before the 2016 games? Yes. So I was, um, so I, I had torn some cartilage in my right knee. So same knee I had at this point, um, an ACL repair reconstruction, um, that was in college. And then in 2010, I had a meniscus, um, some meniscus clean out and damage, that was pretty, came back relatively quickly from that. Mm. Uh, and then the third one though, uh, it was when the doctor went in, it was worse than what they thought. So kind of some areas where it was, Oh, here's some bone on bone <laughs> action going on. So, uh, I, if I wanted a chance, so this was 2013, um, the December of 2013. So, you know, it, it Bert came, came to us, I, I believe in 2014, if I'm, if I'm uh, remembering that correctly. And it's like, Oh, Hey, here's a great way to track your jumps. It's not someone standing on the side, you know, your athletic trainer jump, you know, counting them. It's measured. Okay. What is, um, you know, how much, you know, how much, how high, you know, what's, and what's the impact and okay, here's this great device to be able to, okay, let's figure out, okay, when does Chris's knee kind of, you know, go over the hill, right? When does it start? And for a while it was, um, Hey, let's do 25 jumps, see how it responds. Sweet. So maybe that day didn't respond well. So, okay, we got to, we know we got to back down. So it was a great gauge for me to work my way up to, you know, we figured out, okay, what's in a five set match, right? The maximum amount of um, sets you can play in volleyball. What does the middle blocker typically, what is the range, right? So we figured out it was like, I don't know, it, it could range. Basically the, the maximum that we had found was like 200, 210. So why are girls and why do we need to take 500 jumps in a practice? Three, five, 400. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, you know, there's no point. And then I was at a point in my career where, okay, you know, I had had several, suffered several knee surgeries. I knew that when we hit, you know, I got to the point probably 2014. Um, I actually got to the point in 2014 where I was like, okay, am I supposed to be done? Cause my knee was not responding well. It was like, couldn't make it really past 50 jumps. And then I kind of got broke through and, um, it finally started responding and I knew that, okay, 100 to 150 was plenty. And that's, and at that point, yes, I was an experienced player, so I didn't need as much, um, repetitions, but I mean, 100% and I credit, uh, you know, a huge chunk of, me being able to compete in the 2016 Olympics because of vert, because when I went overseas, right, I, I took off 2014, 15 pro season, but 15, 16, I needed to go and, you know, get a little better. So I went over in my pro season and I'm like, look, I got this device. It's this little, like, looks like a USB drive. Here's, you know, it, it counts my jumps and I'm doing 100 jumps on Monday and Tuesday. And before a game, we'll get up to 150 and, that's it. And they were like, cool. So <laughs> to wrap it up, if, and I know this is almost sort of cliche. Um, now we know you need to have the talent and the drive, but if you had, I guess, you know, that's just one piece of, of advice to give that, you know, 14, 15 year old girl playing club, ball, club volleyball who's trying to determine if she wants to really put her heart and soul into this or move on. Um, what would that be? Yeah, I think you know, when I think back to one of the different components that propelled me, you know, to, to get to where, you know, where I, where I am today, I think 
you know, you need to first, you need to be willing to, to sacrifice. And, and in high school, that's, that's tough, right? It's like, oh, well, I got prom. Well, you got a club tournament. And, and I'm not saying that those things aren't important, but you've got to kind of figure out, okay, what's, what's important to me? And you have to say no to a lot of, you know, you have to say no to a lot of things that maybe, you know, kids and girls your age um, say yes to a lot. But, you know, you maybe can't stay out all, you know, Saturday night. All those little, you know, components, um, you know, it, they're choices. They're little miniature choices that um, then you then you end up making, you know, bigger choices, uh, you know, down the road. So, and a lot of that, you know, there's, there's definitely some sacrifice involved. And um, so, yeah, be willing to sacrifice. I think you need to, to be committed to the work, at, you know, the work ethic and, um, and have work, be committed to the work and, and, um, and to, to put in the time you, you know, there's, uh, whether, you know, whether you have the money to get, you know, to be on the best club team, but, but surround yourself with other people that, that push you mm-hmm. and that, uh, that drive you. you, you know, when you have an opportunity to, well, I know I can start and pretty much, you know, coast on one club team, but I might need to work for a position on another club team. You know, you, you're going to have to make, if you get to the national team level, you're going to have to, you know, make it in, and work, you know, work your way up on there. So, you know, you've got to surround yourself with, with, um, with great teammates. And then, you know, I, I think everybody, uh, you know, everybody has, you know, something, something that drives them and, you know, to have, to have support staff is definitely, definitely important, but, you know, having the will, having the will to, you know, to, to do, do whatever it takes to, to get, to reach that point. Um, and, and, you know, doing the extra, you know, extra work. And if, if a coach of a college coach gives you a summer workout, do that summer workout and a little bit more because you, someone somewhere, I know that's such an old saying, but they are, they're, they're working harder than you. And as you continue to move up, all the girls continue to move up too. So, um, you know, you kind of, you know, you reach, oh, I'm the, one of the best high school players. Sweet. Well, here you go. You got to start from the bottom again in college. So it's just this kind of, you know, this road that you go on where you're going to hit, you know, you're going to be willing to, or you're going to have these challenges, but be willing, having the will to push through, um, and be able to deal with some of the punches is, um, you know, it develops resilience, which you need is, you know, as you go on, um, you know, go down on this path. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Krista, again, thank you so, so much. Um, I think this is, it's phenomenal insight and, and couldn't think of a better person to provide this insight in your sport. And so again, thanks for taking the time. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.